there are seven unexpected benefits from using baking soda. Now, most of you probably have baking soda in your refrigerator to help decrease odors. And you may also know that it's good for removing stains in your carpet and to use as a kitchen cleaner. But there's some other really interesting benefits that you probably didn't hear about. Now, what is baking soda? It is sodium bicarbonate. About 4 million years ago, in the area of Wyoming, there was a salty lake that dried up to form what is called trona deposits. And these deposits are basically sodium carbonate. So that's what they make sodium bicarbonate from, the sodium carbonate. So most of the baking soda sold in the world comes from this one place in Wyoming. So let's talk about number one. You can use it as a teeth whitener because it does whiten your teeth, but it can also be used as a mouthwash to help reduce bacteria in your mouth, especially the ones that cause bad breath. Now, what's fascinating about this is that these microbes exist in a certain pH and they cannot exist in different pHs. And so when you alkalize the mouth, you make an environment very difficult for certain acid bacteria to grow, as well as the bacteria that make tartar and placking. And so baking soda is really good to reduce placking in your teeth. And it can be used as a mild abrasive to help clean the teeth as well. So you just take a tablespoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of water, mix it up and brush your teeth. All right, that's number one. All right, number two, you can use it as a natural deodorant. Normally sweat does not have any odor. It's the bacteria that gives you the odor. And like I just said in number one, baking soda being alkaline changes the pH and can create an environment where these microbes cannot exist. So you basically take four tablespoons of baking soda and four tablespoons of either olive oil or coconut oil, mix it up and use it as a natural deodorant. Now I would also add an essential oil to give it a certain aroma. You can use lemon, you can use cinnamon, you can even use lavender or even sandalwood. You can just add a couple drops and then keep it in the refrigerator and use it as needed. All right, number three, you can use it to degrade pesticides on your vegetables. In one study, baking soda was found to be the most effective method of removing certain pesticides from vegetables, which is quite interesting. And I'll put that research down below in the description. And so of course you wanna buy organic, but if you can't always buy organic and they spray with a pesticide or maybe a chemical to kill worms, you can basically soak these vegetables in some baking soda for about 12 to 15 minutes and then rinse them off. And that's gonna greatly help remove some of these chemicals from your vegetables. All right, number four, itchy skin. Like let's say for example, you had a bee sting or some insect bite. You can apply baking soda directly on your skin to help greatly reduce itching. It can also help with poison ivy. All right, number five, prolonged fasting. Okay, so let's say you're gonna fast for 72 hours or longer. What happens is you're in such a state of ketosis that your body's gonna be excessively acid. And so a little baking soda can help reduce that acidity. Now you don't have to use much, and I'm talking about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon in some water drink it down, and that can help curb this acidity. Now, why is acidity bad? It's not really bad, but sometimes it can give you a certain odor in your breath that you may not enjoy or people around you might not appreciate. All right, number six, toenail fungus. Like I said in number one and two, changing the pH can greatly alter the environment for certain microbes to exist. There's a fascinating research article that I put in the description that talks about altering the pH, making the pH more alkaline to inhibit viruses and certain gram negative bacteria. And I'm not gonna mention the virus that they're gonna talk about. You can check it out before, but I will give you a little hint. It's a current virus that everyone's concerned about right now, but it's a fascinating research article that you'll have to check out but adding some baking soda to toenail fungus, like an athlete's foot, can reduce the growth of that organism. 
All right, number seven, you can use it for mouth ulcers. Again, mouth ulcers are usually caused by a virus, okay? So by changing the pH, we can put this virus back into remission and get rid of these viruses. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the benefits of apple cider vinegar, check it out right here.